In continuation of this tutorial, we'll now move on to creating the exercise using the multi-choice I device. Although more often used in formal testing situations, multi-choice questions can be used as a testing tool to stimulate thought and discussion on topics students may feel a little reticent in responding to. To do this, first select the multi-choice I device from the menu. The authoring pane will display the workspace for this iDevice. You may change the title multi-choice to your preferred title. Example, you choose the word exercise. The first frame corresponds to the question frame. It is here you enter the question stem. Bear in mind that the question must be clear and unambiguous. Avoid negative premises as this tend to be ambiguous. Let's say for this one, we copy and paste from Word application and we will format the text just like a word processing document. We click on Paste from Word button and then choose a question from Word application. Press Ctrl V or V on the keyboard to paste the text into the window and click on insert. Let's edit the text. The next frame corresponds to the hint. You may just leave it blank if you do not want to provide a hint. Let's say for this question, we would not be providing a hint, so we'll just leave it blank. Next, enter the available choices in the option frame. Initially, there is one option box, but you may add more options by clicking the Add Another Option button. Let's say for this one, we will type in the option for the questions. The first one will type in A expressions of this approval. If you wish, you can add a feedback for each response. It may be a bit more work, but it's good practice to tell the student why each answer is right or wrong using the feedback area. If students know why an answer is right or wrong, they can analyze their own thinking and begin to understand why an answer is correct. Type in the feedback that what you want the students to see when selecting the particular option. If you don't complete this box, Excel will automatically provide default feedback like correct answer as indicated for the correct answer or wrong answer for the other options. For this one, let's say we type in try again. Then we can fill in the rest of the response choices in the rest of the option frame. Now, if the choice you have entered is the correct option, tick the radio button on the right of the box. Let's say for this one, the correct option is B. If you choose to delete this option, just click the red X next to the option. Now, continue the rest of the response choices. When you are done, just click on the check button. This is how the exercise on multi-choice will look like. If you want to add more questions, just edit.
and then click on add another question.